In our daily lives, we are surrounded by Japanese brands. It is unlikely that you don't have any Japanese technology in your home. Just check your watch, your phone, your camera, your TV set or your car. But Japanese brands on European market is a reasonably new phenomenon. Before World War II, Japan was a secluded, exotic country known more for its cultural individuality than for its products. By then, Japan was a modernizing and successful country, balancing on the border of old traditions and Western lifestyle. Japanese car industry was enjoying great success, as was the production of home appliances and fine mechanics, but their export was non-existent. The post-war Japan, which had been forced to surrender unconditionally and had to start from scratch, contributed to the development of technology and several brands were discovered by the West without any marketing strategy. Such was the case of one of the products belonging to the top 10 list of Japanese brands, the Nikon camera. Nikon Corporation was established in 1917 and became a manufacturer of optics for private customers as well as to the Japanese military, providing, among others, the lenses for the first Canon camera. In the spring of 1948, the first Nikon cameras hit the Japanese market. These cameras featured simple yet elegant and functional design, as well as a reminder of the era, made in occupied Japan. Photography was one of the favorite amusements of the hard times and the camera was well received by the Japanese public. Nikon lenses impressed a photojournalist, David Douglas Duncan, who became the first Westerner to popularize the name Nikon. From July 1950 to January 1951, Duncan covered the Korean War, fitting Nikon optics to his Leica rangefinder cameras. These photos, once printed in the Life magazine, created a buzz among the professionals. Soon the word spread about these Japanese lenses, which were just as good as, or possibly better, than their German counterparts. A demand to fit Nikos to the reporters' Leikas were immediately met at the factory in Tokyo. The camera production received a boost. Models M and S were introduced in 1949 and 1951, the latter becoming the first Nikon on the US market. The Americans were glad to accept Japanese quality products as barter. The photographic market was revolutionized by the launch of the Nikon F series in 1959. This camera became enormously successful. It was one of the most advanced cameras of its day. Although many of the concepts had already been introduced elsewhere, Nikon F was the first to combine them all in one camera. F was marketed worldwide and was the first camera to threaten the position of the German giants Zeiss and Leica. If that's the one, miss, they are certainly a wonderful camera. I'm buying this for my friend, this Nikon, for a friend in Los Angeles. I hope you'll like it. Nikon proved to be more durable and practical than most of its contemporary cameras. The F-series were chosen for the NASA space program and, on the Apollo missions, were taken to the lunar orbit. Today, Nikon is one of the giants of the digital SLR market, thanks to a range of cameras that encompasses the absolute beginner models and the high-end professional workhorses. In recent years, Nikon has also concentrated on slim, stylish, simple-to-use models, though the latest Coolpix generation also contains some enthusiast and super-zoom cameras, and the only cameras with a built-in projector. Nico. Many happy returns, Nikon!